I still feel that it is still 2020. Not much different, right? 2021 is 2020 part 2. I start to feel that time is really an illusion. This collective awakening forces us to reevaluate everything. Our relationship, parenting patterns, diets, limiting belief, especially our triggers. I know most people dislike it when they are confronted by their own triggers, especially during this sensitive time. Because we never really take time to evaluate ourselves, so the suffering keep piling up and we can't take it anymore. We try harder to numb it by binge drinking, eating, and working hard. The good news is, this is all a good thing. This is a grand rising for all the pain and the stress that is buried inside us. So then, we can see it with the light of awareness, yay! If you think that you need to change something, start from here. Changing your perception and the way you look at suffering. It is here to teach us and prepare us for our greatness. It is not cliche. It is not a theory. It is not some bullshit. It is not some kind of empty promises. It is just the way it is. So, it's neither good or bad, it is neutral. Our mind is wired to negativity. The unobserved mind is the biggest hindrance of all. I've summed up a few hints to be happier now. 1. Don't take everything personally. People are more disgruntled this day because they took everything other people say as a threat to their self-image. We are living on the edge, we are easy to sway because of others. We are on the fight or flight mode mostly. We are at war with ourselves, even though we are lying in a king size fluffy bed wearing satin PJ. We are afraid to meet the parts of ourselves that is not lovely. Well, this is your chance. This is the perfect time to shift and grow. The comfort zone is not the place you wanna be. We grow from challenges, heartbreak, depression, solitude. Somehow, in the middle of it, we found stillness and bliss. We have to clear our unconscious parts so then we will not taking everything personally. Let it be the indicator of our maturity level. The more we heal, the less dependent we are. To external things. Find the root of pain that is linking to what others mirrors back to you. It is not about the person. The person is only a messenger. You should give thanks to them. Two, let others choose their experience without judgment. What do I mean by this? We unconsciously gave unsolicited advice to others. Let's say someone thinks that COVID is a conspiracy theory and we totally disagree. We felt the urge to defend, attack, finding proof, etc. We fed our ego and superiority. This creates suffering for both. We are not letting others express their now moment. As painful as it may feel, that person's perspective is not our concern. Let them having what they want. We can say, I honor your perspective, but I chose not to engage in it. This is the mastery of life. It is not what happened to us, but how are we responding to all the irritable moments. Seeing triggers as an invitation for the deep knowing of our soul.
There is no shortcut to evolution. One must be willing to embody it all the process, to be cracked open and transformed. You are doing great. You are enough. You are just in the process of figuring it out. We are all in this together. And please, take all of this with a grain of salt. Everything is always good. Nothing is ever bad. If we want to live a happy life, we must rise above good or bad and not take anything personally. Because it is just us versus ourselves. Thank you for watching this video. Have a meaningful day. See you again soon. Bye.